Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so the easiest way to find the trend of a stock is to see when the stock is making higher highs and higher lows and when the stock is making low lows and low highs, right? So basically, if the stock is making high highs and higher lows, then we know that the stock is in an uptrend. And if the stock is making low lows and low highs, then we know that the stock is in a downtrend, okay? So the strategy that we are going to discuss in this video is based on these very things, okay? Wherein we will only use higher lows for the buy trades and lower highs for the sell trades okay now in order to do this the first and the foremost thing that we need to take care is to find when the higher lows and the lower highs are being formed on the charts right like either you can find it out manually just by seeing the charts by your eyes or you can opt to use an indicator that is publicly available on trading view Okay, now in this video, we will take the help of the indicator and I will show you uh, that right away in some time and will also explain what all changes needs to be done when you apply that particular indicator on your charts. Okay, now another thing, another thing that I want to mention here is the reason why I'm opting on using the indicator to find the higher lows and the low highs is because you can actually reduce the effort while trading. Okay. Also, if you want, you can create a pine script and set an alert on trading view, which will actually reduce your screen time as well. Okay. So the choice is yours. I'm just letting you know the best options that I can offer you. Okay. So having that said, let me take you all to the chart and show you how to plot that particular indicator on the chart and what all amendments or changes are required to be done. Okay. So moving on to the chart here just a moment let me bring it in right so this is the trading view platform guys uh let me expand it to cover the entire page okay so this is the trading view uh, platform guys and the time frame on which we will be trading this particular strategy will be on a five minutes time frame obviously since we are trading on a five minutes time frame uh, which means that we are trading uh, we are into intraday trading okay the strategy applies to day trading only 
okay so uh, in order to plot that particular indicator you need to click on indicators here and on the search bar just type in higher the first option that you get here is higher high lower low strategy click on it okay and that will get plotted on the chart here right now once it gets plotted you need to go to the settings and do a little bit of changes there so if you go to input have the numbers five mentioned here because if you reduce these numbers a lot of signals will be generated and you will get confused when to take the entry similarly if you increase the number you will get very less number of signals so you will not get a chance to take a trade okay so let it be five for both left bars and right bars let the number be five okay have the support and resistance uh, checkbox checked okay and uh, these are some cosmetics that needs to be changed according to your preference so i think this was five i changed it to two and stuff like that so this is the this is just the size of the dot uh, that is being changed here okay so this was about the inputs tab let's move on to the style tab under style make sure to just have higher low and low high checked please uncheck higher high and lower low we are not interested in higher highs and lower lows as i said the strategy itself is dependent on higher lows and lower highs so these are the only two check boxes that needs to be checked okay moving down you can uh, uncheck the bar color by default it will be checked uh, i have unchecked it and then have these uh, have the line check box checked okay and uh, leave everything as it is you don't have to do any changes in the visibility uh, tab leave it as it is and then you click on okay okay so these are the only changes that needs to be done on the indicator that's it okay once you are done with these changes leave it as it is okay now let me get back to the presentation here okay so that was all about uh, the amendments that had to be done on the indicator itself okay now let's get on to the rules okay that we need to follow in order to initiate a buy or a sell trade okay so listen to this very carefully okay for a buy trade the first thing that you need to find out is the trend of the stock or the indice you are trading on that is the bare minimum that you have to find out now i don't know what process you follow to find it out but that's the thing that you have to do before you decide where to enter the trade okay so as i said since we are looking for a buy trade we have to find a stock that is in an uptrend once the stock is found you need to wait to get a signal for higher low and once you get the higher low signal you need to wait for that candlestick to close and your buy entry will be just above the high of that particular candlestick the candlestick which generated the higher low signal okay now the whole reason why we are only concerned about the higher low is because when a stock is in an uptrend and a higher low is formed that means that we have got a support level it's simple logic right and since the stock is in an uptrend and it's taking a support that would be the best place to initiate a buy trade it's as simple as it is okay i hope you're getting the point okay now let's get on to the chart and let me explain the things over there so that uh, they are more clearer to you okay let me bring in the chart here again so what have we done on the chart till now the only thing that we have done is we have gone ahead and uh, plotted this particular indicator with the name higher high lower low strategy and we have made some changes to the parameters within that particular indicator now once that is plotted here let's uh, talk about 30th of september what happened on 30th of september okay let me bring in the pencil here just a moment all right so this is 30th of september so the market was in an uptrend right from the starting of the day right so this was the first red candle which formed and then it was a kind of a consolidation and then it started forming higher highs and higher lows right 
हाय 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 लो हाय 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 लो हाय 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 लो राइट सो बाय दिस टाइम बाय दिस टाइम व्हाट वुड बी द टाइम बाय द टाइम इट इज 10:45 और 11:00 यू शुड हैव शॉली आइडेंटिफाइड दैट ओके दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक इज इन अ uptrend by this time by 11 o'clock it is very certain that this particular stock is in an uptrend so the next thing which you need to wait for is for this signal the higher low signal now this will be taken care by the indicator itself you don't have to interfere or you don't have to do anything at all on the charts so you have to just wait for the higher low signal to be generated this signal to be generated okay once the higher low signal is generated and this particular candlestick is over which candlestick this one okay this is the candlestick which generated the higher low signal right so you need to wait for this candlestick to be closed and your entry will be above the high of this candle so this will be your entry put the stop loss at the recent swing low so in this case which one is the recent swing low this is the recent swing low so put the stop loss just below the recent swing low this will be your stop loss and your target depends again you can aim for a 1% or a 2% move so in this case if we see the high of this candle is 16929.40 let's round round it up to 16930 right let's say you took an entry at 16930 and it went till 16970 a 40 rupees approximately a 40 rupees move now why i considered 16970 was because this is a resistance right here this was the recent swing high so that should worked as a resistance so i took my entry here and i am targeting Uh, and my target will be the recent resistance the most uh, the most uh, what do i say uh, nearest resistance so the nearest resistance is the recent swing high that has been created at this point right that is the reason why i uh, said that the first target can be 16970 which is a 40 rupees target now if you now if you are somebody who wants to stay back in the trade obviously you can stay back in the trade and then you can reap your profits according to your expertise okay but this is the bare minimum what i just explained is the bare minimum wherein you take your entry at the high of this candle's closure put the stop loss at the recent swing low below the recent swing low and aim for a 1% move maybe so this will be my first target because that is a recent swing high so that will act as a resistance okay so that becomes my first target as simple as that clear i hope this is clear now if you wait further okay if you wait further or for some reason if you have missed this particular higher low signal the next higher low signal that we got was at uh, uh the 115 candle right 115 was the candle where we got the second higher low signal so again the very same thing you have to wait for the 115 pm candle to close once it closes your entry will be here just above the high this will be your entry put your stop loss below the swing low so this will be the point for your stop loss and target according to your uh, expertise or according to whatever you follow okay so uh, this is the recent swing high that has been made right so my first target can be here right very close to 1 to 1 right so that is how you trade it as simple as that so the only thing which you need to do here the first thing as i said is you have to wait sorry you have to find out the trend of a particular stock and once the trend of the stock is found out you have to wait for these signals to be generated so the higher low signal will only be for the buy trades not for the sell trades okay so if you are planning for a buy trade wait for the higher low signal to be generated and then you know where to enter where to place the stop loss and where to book your profits okay now another example let's take the example of today's market okay so in today's market what happened was it was very eminent at this place 
wherein it started making lower lows and lower highs, right? So a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low again. So it was very eminent uh, by what 11 o'clock or 11:15 in the morning that this particular stock is in a downtrend, right? So the first job is done. What is the second job? The second job for you is to wait for the lower high signal to be created. Now, since you are planning for a sell trade, you have to wait for the lower high signal, not the higher low signal. I hope you are getting the point. If you are planning for a sell trade, you need to wait for the lower high signal. Okay, so once the lower high signal was formed here, you need to wait for this candlestick to close. So which candlestick is that? You need to wait for the 11.45 a.m. candlestick to be closed. Okay, once that is closed, your sell entry will be just below the low of this candle. So this will be your entry point. Your sell trade will be initiated here. Put your stop loss at the swing high, just above the swing high that is here. Right? This will be your stop loss. And again, go for a target of 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2, whatever you feel like. Okay? So a very easy target. This will be your first target. And after some time, again, you saw that another low high signal came up. So that again gives you more confirmation because it forms a double top here, right? When the second low high is created here, these two things, they create a double top, right? So this gives more confirmation that this particular stock might fall further. So if a guy who is already in a trade, he can continue being in the trade. And if a guy who has not initiated a trade, again, your entry will be at the low of this candle, just below the low, low of this candle. Put the stop loss here, just above the swing high, and your target will be somewhere here. Again, after some time, the third low high is created. Now, this is again an added confirmation because now we are getting a triple top. First top, second top, third top right and it fell again so if a guy who has missed the opportunity here and here again he can take a sell trade at here that is after the low of the candle is breached put your stop loss here just above the swing high decent swing high and your target can be somewhere here maybe as simple as it is okay so this is all about the strategy that i wanted to uh discuss or share with you guys okay so i hope you got the point why we have included only higher lows for buy trades and lower highs for sell trades i hope that point is clear now okay so the only thing that you need to be patient enough is to find uh, the trend of a particular stock and once you find the trend of the particular stock wait for the signal to get generated so if it's a buy trade wait for a higher low signal if it is a sell trade wait for the low high signal and then you know where to enter the trade where to place the stop loss and where to book your profits okay so yeah so that's it from my end let me see if i'm missing on anything else Mm, yeah one more thing obviously that is something which i cannot miss always make sure to add in some more indicators as well which acts as good support and resistance levels okay that will make life much easier okay because they will give multiple confirmations okay along with the signals that are being generated in this particular strategy if you bring in some more technicals which work as good support and resistance levels that will give you more confidence on your trades okay don't miss to have that done all right, so that's all for mine, guys. And for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video, the eye symbol that you see there. You can click on it and watch my previous video. And as always, we request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about HYIT. That might be helpful to you in some way or the other. And please feel free to ask your questions or queries, if any, in the comment section. And I will surely reply back to them. And also, please do not forget to like this video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i'll see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye, -bye.